going for you and how's everyone doing? I'm pretty good. How are you? Good, good, good. Right, how many results is the such looking? Um, so for M base, it was like 11,000. And then for that line, there was like 4,000 something for some reason. And then Cochrane, there's 3,000 something. But you're going to get three more students, I think, right, Tini? We were talking about it on Friday. Yeah. Is that, I don't, yeah. If we can get through one, but it would take a lot less. It's a lot. Yeah. yeah. But that's that's to be expected. I'm not surprised. Yeah. This should be quite a bit. Yes, we could. Because Jasmine, you have to leave at 45, right? Um, I think it just depends on whether the doctor actually calls me at that time. Because if not, I can stay until 2. Okay, sure. I don't think we'll take that long. Just wait like two more minutes and see if you enjoy them. If you start choosing to join. Did Yilin confirm that she was coming? Oh, Tini, you're still kind of muted if you're like talking. Sorry. Um, you had just messaged me. She said that the school's Wi Fi is down, so she can't go in right now. Um, I'm just going to, she said she's trying to find a new place. I'm just going to resend her the Zoom link. Then we can just start first. Oh, she's entering. Hello. Is this you in? Is you in here? Okay, I guess we can just start first. Um, so uh, we just wanted to show you guys how we're, we did the search um, 
to get all the papers that we want to go through for the meta analysis and just nice of you. So I'll just share my screen first. Has anyone done a search before or know what a search is? I've done some for class assignments and research papers. Okay. So like, did you guys go through, um, do you see my, um, do you see my desktop or no? No. Just a bar. Like yeah. a oh. Okay, you see it now? Yeah, we can see your uh, Google Drive, yeah. Okay. Um, so usually, so for our research, we're using Medline, Embase, and Cochrane databases to search for um, the papers. So uh, have you guys used Medline before? Or Jasmine, do you usually use like, um, do you go on PubMed or like what, what do you usually do use for your search? I think the most that I've used is like U of T's one search, also PubMed and PsychInfo. Okay. And oh Google Scholar. Okay. Yeah. So for us, um you it's also on the U of T website. So usually we search up Medline, U of T, um and we use three databases just so that it's more comprehensive and we get all the papers, like we're not missing any, making sure we don't make, uh, miss any papers. So for Medline, I just searched up Medline UT. You guys can do this as well if you guys want to, just to um, familiarize yourself with it. And then just open it. So have you guys uh, seen this website before or used it in any of your classes? I haven't used uh, Medline before. Okay. So um, for Medline, I'm, I'm not sure if you guys have like come up with search terms before or like used search terms before on the other um, search, uh, on other databases that you've used. But for our search, we usually come up with a list of search terms and it's different, slightly different for each of the databases. Um, so because we're focusing on glycemic index or load, we have two search terms for that. Um, and I like highlighted it here. You can see my Excel sheet, right? So yeah, so we have these two for the glycemic index and load. And then for our CVD outcomes, uh, Sandhya uh, actually created this a long time ago. And so we got that from her and um, we can use this to search through the three databases to get papers that we want um, for the outcomes that we want. Uh, and so usually, um, they're all like different key terms that can like basically encompass more papers that we need. Like, um, I don't, it, 
exactly remember each of the key terms meaning. Do you remember, Fred? I don't really remember. Either. So MP would be a key. M MP would be, um, oh God, I just thought about it and I forgot. I think MP meant keyword. Okay. Um, you know what? I, I know we use MP a lot because it captures all that word that's in the in the article so that's mm -hmm. why we use it and like the, the um the abbreviation tw no actually what? i believe tw and kf they make it a little bit more um how do you say uh, a little bit more sensitive to the search so that you're able to not capture everything you can still get things that are relevant but although we use all of it, you still get a lot of irrelevant things. And this yeah. is usually the case, but you want a bit more, right? Yeah, so they have it all online as well, if you want to go into it more. And, like and I actually wanted to add, like, sometimes um, it is very much recommended. Uh, we're not doing it for this project, but if you're doing it on a project on your own, I think it's always great to go to a librarian um, at the university and and get you know their expertise on how to conduct a search because sometimes the librarian will give you some tips that would always be helpful. So like you could see um, usually if you look at line uh, if you look at the um, keyword nine and ten. First of all, we exploded, EXP means explode, we exploded myocardial infarction. And then we also search for myocardial infarction as a keyword because uh, TD will show you afterwards because sometimes the exploded terms will have terms that the keywords doesn't have. That's why we need to have both sometimes. You don't want to miss out. I'm going to stop talking now and leave it to T. Yeah, that's I can do the search, um, maybe Medline with you guys, so that you can see how, like how how we do it. Um, and we always put down like the date we do it because it kind of changes every day. We don't know if there's like new studies coming in. Um, so yeah. So here we have. So I'm just gonna copy by human. Go back to Medline. You can log in with your um, e ID. Okay, and then so I can. Oh, sorry, I was just going to say it says like Medline, then gives you the date, like up to what week three of September. That's what. Yeah, wait, sorry. I didn't hear that. I didn't get that. Oh, sorry. It's just like, yeah, you know, Embase and Medline, you might get confused, but you see like that line that says Medline, then mm -hmm. like. Do you like the date of where up to date, like which studies it contains, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So you're talking about this line, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like now, that's you want to make sure. One. Yeah. You want to make sure that if you're searching using the Medline search terms, then you're on the Medline database, and then you're on Embase, and you're on the Embase database, and the there's like differences in some of the words that terms that we've use. So um, I'm just going to search, first of all, our, um, I guess, exposure. So you just put down glycemic search. And then here you'll see the number of results that you get for that one term. Um, and then I'm just going to go to Next one. And then, so these, we only use um, these two terms for glycemic index and load. And we usually will, because we want to capture um, like either, like the studies of either of the, like, for both of these um, terms, we click or. And then it'll basically add the studies 
from here, these studies and these studies that we found um, for the two terms um, together for one or two. Yeah, I think I remember like the asterisk is like for words that comes after it, so it has both glycemic load and index, right? Yeah, then, I think so. Yeah, we're using like the two different spellings of glycemic, but we could have just put like a question mark in the middle, but like whichever works, right? Yes. And then. You can do your um, CV terms and you just, because since we, like, you guys haven't done this yet, you guys probably just have to, um, you'd have to copy and paste every single term in here. Um, but I do have it saved, but uh, so maybe I just do it through my saved searches so that we don't take too much time. Maybe we could, or maybe you could show like what happens. We just add like a term in. Like, One other term. Fine. Because I remember when we first did it, we just put the keyword without like the period or. Are you just saying like, like uh, cardiovascular disease and see what happens, right? Without like the exp or like the slot at the end. Oh, yeah, sure. Because, yeah, that's what we did initially. Like, yeah, the process that we're do like this, yeah. Yeah. So we need to make it more specific, I guess. Um, yeah, wait, so <laughs> what else do you want you to do? What? Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, just yeah, maybe yeah, just like go through like if you do like cardiovascular disease and such, like what happens, like you know, pretend like we didn't have these times, right? We had to like find find them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I guess if you just do cardiovascular disease, this yeah, comes up. These two options, right? It gives you like op potential. Like it's trying to find like what you're trying to say and gives you these potential terms. Then you could click cardiovascular disease or like it gives you the MP option too. Like so. Yeah. And then you can do uh four of us. And then yeah, that's how we got the MP, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um So yeah, there's the MP, uh, but these ones are like, I guess they're more specific. So we, they, we've done this search before. So it, it, um, it's usually, it usually captures as many studies as um, we need. So that's why we followed that. And because Sandhya has used these search terms for a while now, so, um, that's why we do use that, those exact search terms, but we can also um, do our own ones and um, to see if we can like, to see like how we did it just now, to see if they capture more studies than um, the search terms that we have, I guess. So what else could I show? I don't know if I should go through all the terms, Go through the full search. Yeah, I don't think we really need to, maybe. Oh, well, you don't need to. I think maybe you can show them uh, how you export the data from EndNote to, um, how, from Medline to EndNote, so that they know they are, there's a process that happens in between before it goes into Excel. That's the okay. format they will get it. OK. Um, yeah, so once we finish the search, you put all the individual terms in here, 
there's also one more thing to note that there's um for our cohort studies um there is like there are specific terms that were made um through the bmj that we use so these are the terms for systematic reviews and for cohort studies um that were already set that we need to use um, in our search as well. And so from maybe line 32 to um, like to 61, I believe, is where those are the specific search terms that are used for a systematic review and cohort studies. And then these ones are just um, to combine all the terms and um, the 66 to 67 is to limit our studies to only adults, which is one of our criteria for the systematic review. So once we have, we run our search. So let me show you. We're on a med line too. Oh, yeah. The, <laughs> that was an accident. Yeah, base. So, yeah. You don't have uh, people that know where you are. Yeah. yeah. So, every time I finish my search, I'll save it. Um, save it with the date as well. And then I will run it. I can run it now. Saving it just like saves you time. Like in the future, if you're going to be running like the same type of studies. You can, or same type of search terms, you don't have to do it again. So I have it all here. All right, so a bit different because like it also contains the previous one that we just did, right? That's why it's like 72. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Was, oh, okay, we could also, you also like, yeah, shall we just select them and then remove them if you made a mistake or edit? Yeah. So these were from the previous search. We don't want that. We can just remove that. Yeah. Yeah, you don't. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, it should be still the same. Though. Yeah. So after we did all the search terms, we have a total of 4,301 papers in the end for Medline, just the Medline database. And then we can export it uh, into something called EndNote. And how we do it is we can't select all of them, but we can go up, I think you can go up to 3,000 papers to export. So what I do is I do one, two, three thousand in the range here. Click export. And then it'll be on EndNote. And uh, you want to do the complete reference and then you want to click export. I'm not on the can you still see um, uh, what yeah, do you see right see, now? We see like you access another, another like page, I think. We see like the uh, OVI. COVID, right? Is it still? Okay. Um, yeah. So again, you can export it by doing one, two, three thousand, up to three thousand. That's all you can do. Um, and then you press export. But once you get it um, 
Once you've clicked the export with the complete reference, it'll download as a file in EndNote, um, which this, you guys don't have, but um, if you do work in doc, like maybe if you volunteer or go into the clinic, you'll probably be able to use EndNote in one of the computers, but you open it, the file, and this is EndNote. It just has all your references and all the studies you have. Um, and it will just start importing it. And that kind of takes a while because you have 3,000 papers trying to import in there. Um, so yeah, once you get that imported, I'm not going to show you that. You can, I have, I have the three databases that you can, um, that I created and I added all the files into each one of them. Um, and then we'll get the papers exported into an Excel file so you can start coding. And that's like the next step which you guys will be doing. Um, and I'll show you how it looks like, but um, this is just the Excel file that um, I've used before. So we'll have separate sheets for the three databases. And for example, for Medline, uh, this is just all the studies. Sorry, I just had a question about EndNote. Yeah. Do we need to download that? Uh, no. I Yes, you do have to pay for EndNote. Um, it's useful for like maybe if you have to do references in the future, but for now, I'll, I'll be doing the EndNote part, and then you'll get an Excel, Excel file that looks kind of like this um, with all the papers already exported in, and then um, all you need to do is, uh, I'll show you now what you need to do. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So you'll get a, like a big Excel file like this with all the studies we got from both, all three other databases compiled. Um, and you'll see number, which is just a randomly generated number for each of the papers, uh, the database the study is from, the review code, which we will be um, completing, and then author and abstract, um, which we get from EndNote. Uh, so there's a page here that says the review code. Um, we already have our inclusion and exclusion criteria for what studies we're looking at. So according to those, you'll be coding, you'll be looking through each of the papers, um, looking at their title and abstract, uh, and seeing if it fits what we're looking for. And I'll send you like maybe the inclusion and exclusion criteria and also the coding for that. Um, but yeah, so for example, if the paper looks at like children, then we we won't we won't want it. So we'll put down wrong population for that specific study. Um, and then you'll write it down under review code. But you'll have to look through the abstract and title to know that. And then if the study does fit our uh, criteria, we'll put down um, full review. Um, but we can go through all of that again um, once we have Excel files to send to you guys. And I can do it with you for the first few. Um, and then for the rest, you guys can do it together. Um, by yourself. And we'll probably split all the papers between um, six students, so it won't be too many. But yeah, do you guys have any questions for now? I guess I'll just add like what the initial, when we initially, or you all initially do it. Uh, you just like look at the abstract section, right? You don't like need to like search out the paper. You just look at like columns, you know, C or yeah. D. And in case like that isn't isn't 
like there, you should, you could try and find her, I guess, right? Yeah, because there is a lot of papers, um, and we have a lot more than 449. So you don't actually have to go through all the papers. You just have to look through the abstract. Um, yeah. And typically, we want two people reviewing the same papers or doing the codes for the same papers so that we're not missing or doing anything wrong. So you'll probably be paired up with someone. Um, that's why we need like six students. So each of you can have uh, someone to do that uh, extraction or the coding with. And we'll go through this process twice usually. So after we do the first round, we go through the full reviewed ones more thoroughly. And also um, we also go through like me meta analysis and that were done before that um, are on the same topic are looking at the same topic as us. And then usually you might find that some of like our search might not capture all the studies that um, were included in other meta-analyses. So we need to include those as well. And that's called like a manual search. Like you look through other studies and find if we've missed any other studies. Um, but yeah, so that will be the next step for you guys to do. Um, yes. So any other questions or if anyone wants to add in anything? Yeah, so I guess no one has anything. Yeah, I guess you'll just have to send them the Excel file now and uh, and fix another meeting and maybe show them some example yeah. how exactly to screen, to code. Yeah. Well, I'm a visual learner. I need to see how people are doing it to learn. Um, hopefully, Yilin would be able to join um, next week. Yeah. she needs to be able to see what's what's happening and uh, and yeah coding could, could just take a long time yeah we should do like the coevidence thing with like the duplicate like like you know i was thinking uh, i think it's better to let them uh, learn and, and and screen for duplicates i guess oh. you need when you're showing it show them first how to um sort it and uh, screen for duplicate. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, and uh, and then they can just start first code the duplicate, and then the rest will happen. Yeah, okay. they have their hands full for the whole semester. I guess the whole year. Yeah, the whole year. <laughs> okay, I will send you guys once I get um, the papers exported into the Excel file. I'll send it to you guys or we should set up another meeting um, so that I can go through that with you guys and then you guys can start coding. Yes. Yeah. You just, for the first, um, first review of the papers, you really only have to look at the abstract and the title. And then once we've like selected the ones, like gone through all the abstracts of all the papers, um, we're gonna do a second review of all the papers that we've um, saved or collected. And then um, we can look more in depth into those ones, make sure they're correct, yeah. Because the first review, you're, there's about, right now for at least one of the databases, there's about 11,000 papers. And you really won't want to read 11,000 papers. <laughs> and, uh, but it'll be split up between everyone. So you don't actually have to go through 11,000, but yeah. Yeah, but, yeah there's like, yeah, you have to like do the abstract, there's like, yeah, since we did like glycemic with like the abstract, we could have like 
ones that we might not use. Like because we're just using glycine to load and index. But in the past, I saw because that says glycemic control. I don't yeah. Think. Yeah. So you'll see a lot of papers that don't don't like um, relate to what we're doing at all. Yeah. And, um, a lot of duplicates as well. Like there's papers since we did three databases, there might be a lot of like overlap on the same papers. Um, so yeah, that's why we take screen. Any other questions? Oh, Elon is in now. Hi, Elon. We're just ending now, but we'll have another meeting soon and I'll send you an Excel file and then we can go through the coding together or your next steps together. Okay, well. Hi. I just can't find a place that has the Wi-Fi. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Yeah, I heard that the Wi-Fi is down at school. Um, so do we have any recording of this meeting for today? Uh, we did not record the meeting, but that's okay. I'll just, I can talk to you later. And also um, we'll have another meeting soon anyways. Um, so there's nothing too much you need to okay. do right now. There's like a group chat for this, hopefully, right? Sorry? Oh, sorry. Like, there's a group chat for this, like, for you. If you have any questions, you could discuss, right? Or something like that. Oh, yeah. I don't think I've made the group chat yet, but I can do that. Okay, cool. If no one has any questions, I think we can end the meeting. Um, I have the questions. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I join this meeting through the phone call and like the quality is very low i couldn't yeah. hear really everything i just wonder if there's anything um i need to do like for before the next meeting yeah so right now you guys don't have anything to do but i will be sending you an excel file of all the papers that we compiled through our search i don't know if you said that part that we did a search um, through three databases and we have all the studies that we're going to have to look through and mm -hmm. I need to export that into an Excel and send it to you guys and then we have to look through those papers to start um, coding them or selecting for the ones that we want um, and we'll do another meeting on how to do that. Okay, got it, thank you. Yeah, so I'll just send another email and then ask you guys when you guys are most free as well. And then I'll send another meeting when I get all the papers exported into the Excel. Tini, do you want to stay on? I'll just oh, quickly yeah. show you the Excel thing. Yeah, okay. I guess the rest of you can go. Thank you for coming. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye.